As the boss at X, Musk has not wasted much time in setting himself up as a leader among world leaders, a leader in fact that other leaders may have to follow in more ways than one. Musk is now in a conflict with British Prime Minister Keir Starmer and that is building up at several levels, at the level of argument uh, and discussion but really beyond that at the level of legislation and regulation. Musk has fired a series of broadsides that Britain is now in the middle of a civil war, a post that was clearly hasty and excessive. The worst of the rioting does seem to be over for now at any rate. Musk then called Starmer two-tier Keir, suggesting that the British government was being tough with the far right but going easy with groups resisting far right members. And Musk uh, retweeted falsely that uh, Starmer was planning to build detention camps in the Falklands, a post that he later had to delete. But there is a further and uh, potentially far more serious conflict building up here rather than this kind of exchange of words over any legal responsibilities that X may have in providing a platform for multiplying calls to violence. We saw a good deal of that um, kind of thing through the course of the rioting. And Britain has layers of legislation to deal with this sort of thing, or would be, uh, they are being prepared to deal with this sort of thing. An online safety act was passed earlier this year and it is due to take effect sometime next year. And under that law, a social media platform that becomes a platform then for a criminal call could be fined up to 18 million pounds or 10 percent of its global income. But already calls have come for strengthening that law and speeding up its implementation. London Mayor Sadiq Khan has said that the law as it stands is just not fit for the purpose. Currently also Britain's media regulator Ofcom has um, a list of social media companies and those are only the ones established in the UK uh, to protect the public from content that could incite hatred or violence and that covers TikTok, Snap, Telegram among others but does not cover X or YouTube for instance. British regulators are now exploring ways to rope in X under those regulations and that is a move X is certain to resist. So that is a conflict then waiting to surface but really beyond that amplification of incitement is actionable already under common law and accordingly a couple of people have been given fairly long jail sentences in one case more than three years for making online calls to violence and if the individuals could be booked the argument goes so could the companies that gave them that voice. The government is exploring such possibilities and actions along these lines very closely now. These of course would not be easy steps to take given the extent to which politicians depend on X to reach uh, voters and the wider public. Starmer himself campaigned massively over X. The web will not be easily controlled and this is a game in its early stages yet and not just in Britain without doubt governments around the world are watching to see just how this conflict plays out between Musk and Starmer. It really is a conflict between social media and governments everywhere.